It's been a while. It's been a while. You know what time it is? Yes, I know. It's board game trivia time. We totally invented the new way of doing this. There's going to be 10 questions, and each of those questions will have four possible answers. So you can get a perfect score of 100%. And again, since this is very original, you'll have three helpers. You can call a friend. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to eliminate two wrong answers. And the third one, you will be able to write that question in some group you're in. And hopefully they can help you within a reasonable amount of time. Okay. And you guys can play along. Tell us how many did you get right? Do you know a game called Yahtzee? Yes. But do you know that it was not originally called Yahtzee? No, I did not. So what was Yahtzee originally called? A, the Yacht game. Yacht. Okay. Like the ship. You yeah. know, Yacht. The Yawns game. Yawns? Like, <sighs> yawns, okay. just okay. plural. The Yams game. Mm -hmm. Or the Yanti game. That's okay. like a river in China. Not that you needed to know that. I'm automatically canceling the B option. Which is the Yawns game. <laughs> Which is the Yawns game. That sounds like something you made up. No, that's what it does when I play the game. It brings yeah, yeah. out that yawns in me. So you made it up. No, okay? no, no. You made it up. Uh, then there are three options. Mm -hmm. Last one sounds almost the same. Uh, I, it, I'm, I'm it, going... It's Yahtzee and Yanti. Yeah, I'm going with the last one. That is not correct. Oh, come on. Which it's one is it? It's Yacht Game. It was invented by a couple who spent a lot of time on their yacht, yeah. and they invented it there, and then at first they called it, it's the yacht game. I mean, it, it was somehow my first gut feeling, but I thought, it doesn't make any sense, there's nothing <laughs> it does there. Not, so. It doesn't have that yet. Okay, yeah. You still have a chance to get your 90% knowledge, and remember, you have your three helpers. So is this like, uh, you? do you want to be a millionaire, and I'm out, and I'm just... No, 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 this is original. Uh, you never lose. Do you know what Board Game Geek is? <laughs> No. no. Tell me more about okay, it. Okay, so Board Game Geek is this huge database of almost all the board games ever, I hope. I don't know. You use it every day, probably. Yeah, no, exactly. No. How many board game entries are there on Board Game Geek? And it obviously includes all the promos and expansions and everything, but... Uh, okay. You ready for this? No, I'm not. <laughs> 96,000, 134,000, 156,000... Or 112,000. <laughs> it's all the same. <laughs> no, one is below 100,000 and three are above 100,000. Uh, there's a lot. Can that be an answer? A lot? Let me see. None, none of these is a lot. So I'm going to go with the third the superpower, which is taking two options off, right? 134,000 and 96,000. Let's go with uh, 134. Are you sure? No, I'm not. It's a 50-50 guess. <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. It is. And it is a correct guess. Nice. Okay, so at least 10% knowledge in board game world. So that's mm -hmm. bad. Not bad. I thought you'd do zero. Okay, let's uh, spice things up about the game that everybody has probably played at least once. It's Monopoly. Oh, God, no. What? You don't like Monopoly? You do? Anyway, exactly. the question is, uh, did you know that the Monopoly has a name? Monopoly Man has a name? Uh, yeah, it's uh, Philip. It is not, but uh, I'll give you options so it's easier for you to choose. So, what is the name of the Monopoly man? Yes. Is it Rich Uncle Pennybags, Monty Payments, Sir Finley Loaded, or Johnny Cash? <laughs> <laughs> so it's not the last one. It's one of the first two. Rich Uncle Pennybags or Monty Payments? I would say the first one. I feel like A is the answer. It is Rich Uncle Pennybags. He looks like Rich Uncle Pennybags. I thought that's a ridiculous name. Props on the second one. Monty Payments? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's Monthly Payments. <laughs> <laughs> no, you ruined it. I didn't! I was just did explaining it. where the joke is. What a lot of board games have. It's a bonus question. You don't have to answer. You can say just don't know. You don't know. It's fine. I don't know. Yeah, expansions. But on Board Game Geek, there is one game that is listed as having most. At least that I could find. You should double check all the facts I'm mentioning here. Because, you know, I found them on internet. And what is on internet is true. Which means you don't have to check the double facts. Because, I mean, this is going to be on internet. So this is true. Anyway, so which board game has the most expansions? Advanced Squad Leader. 
Have you ever heard of this game? Uh, Carcassonne. That would would have been my like guess. Dominion. Memoir Forty Four. Probably the first one, cause. <laughs> No, nah, I, I mean Carcassonne. Let's go with Carcassonne. You sure you don't want to use any? Yeah, of let's do it. It is not Carcassonne. Ah, oh, goddamn it! It is the first one. Advanced Squad Leader. Board Game Geek listed as having 529 expansions. What? What? What is that? Carcassonne had 159, which is a lot. Don't get me wrong, but like 529, it's a hobby within a hobby. There are people who play board games. There are people who paint board games, and then there are people who play Advanced Squad Leader. How do you feel you're gonna do by the end of this? Um, 100%. That's quite impossible still. Most you can do is 80% at this point. Yes, 100%. Uh, well, since math is bo bad for you, let's do another one with the math. Did you know that board games have been around for a very long time? Yes, How a week long? at least. Ex I'd say two. How old is the oldest known board game? 5,000 years, 3,000 years, 4,000 years, 2022 years. <laughs> Very specific. Okay, I can call a friend. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. You have Ghostbusters, right? So, how old is the oldest board game? It's 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, or 2,000 years old? Yeah. 3,000. Okay, okay. How sure are you? I mean, if he has, is he near a computer? He can check. <laughs> In any case, it's your fault. Just Google, so, ask him to Google it. At the end, the percentage you get. That's how believable your reviews are gonna be from now on. Not mine, but yours. Like when you say this game's great and you get 50% at the end, you go like, yeah, well, it's a 50% chance that it is great. No, no, if you would have yeah. gotten 100%, you would be 100%, right? I would go 100%, don't we? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for 4,000 years. Sure? Yeah. It is not. It's 5,000 years. 5,000. It's a very old <sighs> board game. It's, it's called old. Senate. All right. I haven't played it. So 5,000 years is a long time. So in that time, people probably could design a lot of board games, right? Mm -hmm. But Mr. Reiner Knizia, he's a mathematics professor okay. who designs board games for a living. How many has he designed? 344, 411, 583, or 669? Mm -hmm. He has been designing games, I think, since late 80s. You know, I it's mean, you're not going to get it. Okay, I wouldn't know. I know the answer. I'm like, no way. I don't okay. even believe it. Uh, I haven't guessed until now. C. You're going to go for 583? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. Because every time when I ask you, are you sure? You're wrong, so. Yeah, let's go 100%. Let's go. You're wrong. <laughs> Come on, man. It's 669. Uh, How can you do that? Quantity the more you quality, make, the bigger chance that something sticks, is right? Yeah, true. Okay. Just like with our videos, right? If you want more of them, be sure <laughs> to like and subscribe. Yes, please do. <laughs> uh, hopefully, some of them will stick. So you're still at 20%, right? Yeah, 100% all the way. Have you played chess ever? Yeah, of course. A lot of it. How long are your games usually? Mm, like an, uh, whatever, hour, I guess. But how do you think long was the longest chess game one hour and one minute i'll give you the options <laughs> <laughs> 12 hours mm -hmm. 24 hours 36 hours or 48 hours two days basically wow yeah it's either half a day or all the way up to two days well to be honest when i play chess it feels like all of those towers it's not 48 24 hours did you just pull it out of your hat that is correct Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Would you be able to play chess for 24 hours? No. Me neither. Wouldn't even try. Since we're talking about classic games, have you ever played Risk? Mm, no. Those games last 24 hours without even trying. Which country was it invented in? France, Germany, USA, or Canada? So I'm going on a small knowledge that after World War in Europe... The, like, Where'd you get this knowledge from? War uh, was tabooed. The theme of war, okay. or maybe just Germany. Maybe just Germany, but no. Ju I'm just asking questions here. It feels like a game from France. <laughs> does how does a war game feel like? I'm gonna say Canada. Let's go Canada. Who cares? Are you sure? Who cares you at this point? You I still have one helper. 
what will that help <laughs> so if you're asking me that then that's incorrect so i'm gonna go with usa yeah you sure you don't want to use your helper <laughs> all right then france fine if you don't want to use your helper it is correct <laughs> how do you guess that that is in fact france i would have never thought i was 100 sure that it's from usa have you played D&D &D at least a lot of it yes unfortunately okay there is a race called halflings there did you know they were not called halflings before they were called something else and what was it hobbits it? Uh, do you know this yeah can i give you at least options <laughs> <laughs> sure halfman yeah no. hobbits yes lilliputs no elfins no they had the issues with copyright, so they oh, changed it to oh, half. Oh, you know everything about D and D, but you don't even have ah, played Risk ever. Okay, last one, and then we'll know what is your believability level of in board games. I'm already fifty percent, so I'm fine. Yeah, that's that's good odds. Mm -hmm. So all the reviews you watched up to it's, this point, it's either true it's, or not. It's, yeah, fifty fifty. Good good odds actually. Mm -hmm. Have you played Jenga? Yeah. Of course. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Do you know the answer to this already, maybe as well? I don't have yeah. to. Wood. No. Jenga actually does mean something. So what does Jenga mean? Does it mean tower, destroy, build, or brick? Can you can you put it in a context? <laughs> yes. in, in like a sentence? <laughs> of course. <Sorry. laughs> I Jenga, Jenga. <laughs> A Jenga Jenga? Uh, I'll give you a hint that's definitely gonna help you. It comes from uh, Swahili. Oh! You're welcome! I was thinking about maybe it's like Estonian or... No, no, know, it's Swahili. It's, uh, okay, then it's obvious. Need help. What does Jenga mean? Somebody they googled it. It's built. <laughs> Shut up, that was quick. <laughs> well, are you sure that's your answer? I can read their message. Jenga derived from the Swahili word Kejunga, meaning to build, represents more than just a tower of building blocks. It's just my wife's general knowledge about Swahili. Swahili. Swahili, yeah, that's the word. That is correct. Congratulations. 60% believability in board games. Which one was your favorite question? Uh, I mean, the one about uh, any of the numbers, which was just random numbers for me. <laughs> So they were not random. One of them random. was correct, and the other ones I thought of. Anyway, tell us how many you got, and thank you for watching. See you next time.